Hi class, today we're going to work on the orange swirls and with working with the orange swirl we're going to be using the pen tool which will create paths and then we're going to change those paths into a selection. It's a great tool to use when you want nice curved smooth lines and the pen tool is also used to create what's called a vector image and we're going to discuss <clears throat> vectors later on in computer art B but basically what a vector is is an image that defies the square portion of a pixel so you can blow it up really large without losing resolution. The pen tool is located right over here in the tools palette and it looks like an old-fashioned quill pen or a calligraphy pen and when you're working on the pen tool to create a path you want to make sure that you're on this option. It might default to your shapes layers. We're not creating shapes here. We're just creating paths. So what the pen tool does is it create, creates anchors and then while um, connecting the anchors you're going to create paths. So we're going to start by creating one anchor here. I'm just clicking once. And then I'm going to click an anchor right about here. There's your first path. Now on that path, I'm going to create another anchor right below, right where this dip comes down pretty low. Okay, so I have three anchors. One, two, three. I'm going to hold down my command key, and this will allow me to grab an anchor and bring that down. And now I have a nice curved smooth line. I'm going to click up here and do the same thing. Click right where the farthest part comes out on the path. Hold down command and pull that out. Now I'd like this to come out a little bit more so I can certainly add as many anchors as I want. Hold down command and pull that out. And then I just repeat that process. Command, or I'm sorry, click, click, command, pull, all the way into the center. Click, click, Command, pull. Click, click, command, pull. And I think I'll stop right here and then start making my way on the inside of the swirl so I end up right here. So I'm just going to create a point and start curving it just as I did with the outside. I think they're playing a movie in the next classroom. <laughs> okay. Somebody's screaming. All right, and now I am um, right where I need to be, and then I want to close that path by clicking on the anchor that I started with. And there's your path. It just looks kind of like a line. I'm going to right-click on the path and then go to Make Selection. Leave your radius at zero, click OK, and there you have it. We're going to rip that off, and then I'm going to go to my Move tool and move it on my poster. Now when you move your swirl on your poster, you need to make sure that you get a little pair of scissors. If it's right here, the whole thing is going to move. We don't want that whole thing to move. We just want the selection to move. So you have to move your cursor inside the selection and then bring it on over. Command T, rotate it how you'd like, and then create another one on the other side. Hold down Alt, Command T, right click inside and then flip it horizontally. Hit Enter. And there you have it. You've got your swirls and now you know how to use the pen tool and to create paths. Thanks for listening. We'll see you at the next lesson. Bye.